Hey, it's Hex here from Hexinverter.net Electronics. So, I'm here to demo VC noise, or voltage controlled noise. It's a module that I've developed. And, um, it's a voltage controlled noise oscillator. So, you kind of have to treat this like a VCO, except for noise. Um, of course, you know, it's not volts per octave of course, but uh, it does have an exponential voltage control input, which makes it kind of a unique um, module in terms of noise modules. Anyway, if you're looking for something just to do white noise, this will work as well, uh, because the core of it is based on the TR909, that's the Roland drum machine, the noise generator in there, and it was specifically made by the Roland engineers to generate high frequency white noise. So, I'll just... Uh, walk you through the features. So, sorry here. So this is the main noise output. It's AC coupled as you can see from the panel. And we'll just give this a listen. Right now you can see the pitch. This is just like the uh, main frequency tuning knob of a standard VCO. Um, the pitch is turned all the way up to generate high frequency white noise. There's white noise coming out of the oscillator. So, that's fine and dandy. You can put this into a filter, you know, you can, you can make hi-hats with it, you can do anything else you can do with a white noise generator. Um, of course, this is pretty boring. Uh, um, where this oscillator really shines is when you start to play with the pitch, like so. Some might say, you know, that's the same effect as uh, this sweep effect is the same thing as putting white noise through a low-pass filter and sweeping the filter's frequency. Yes and no, because this is a digital noise generator. Um, keep in mind, it does not use microcontrollers. It's using uh, CMOS shift registers, like, you know, chips that do this. So... Um, because it's digital, as you slow the clock rate down, you can probably hear, but it's clicking and popping, it's still generating low frequency noise. Um, so you get these hard, jagged edges as the frequency goes down, because it's generated from a 1-bit square wave, and, uh, well, you can hear it. White noise through a low-pass filter sounds nothing like that. It's got a character of its own, so... So yeah, that's fun to play with, but where it gets really interesting is the uh, sub-octave division outputs. So you've got your main noise frequency out, that's open here, okay, so that's close to white noise there. Now we can listen to the divided by 4 output, and this is where it gets interesting. There's something in this circuit that makes the subdivision outputs sound screechy and nasty. Uh, like, they're not just lower frequency, they have a different tonal characteristic, and this was completely accidental, and I love it. So, here it is. So you can probably hear that. It sounds horrific, and that's sort of the type of sound this module was conceived of creating, and yeah, sometimes accidents are the best thing. So, so I'm sure you can think of the possibilities when you feed this into an envelope generator, play it with a keyboard or a sequencer, layer it with other sounds. As you've probably heard already, I have a ton of audio demos doing exactly that on my site. Yes, so you've also got an exponential voltage control input, a linear voltage control input for frequency modulation, much the same as any standard voltage controlled oscillator. You have a DC coupled noise output, which is very useful for making random gates. Um, so this can be used as a random gate source as well. Uh, you have a clock input and a clock output. Basically there's a voltage controlled clock uh, at the core of this module, and the clock is clocking the noise generator. And together they create a voltage controlled noise oscillator. The clock is based on Thomas Henry, he's a big do-it-yourself guy. It's based on Thomas Henry's X4046 VCO design, 
uh, great designer. Um, I learned how to voltage control a 4046 chip from there, and that is what this module does. Anyway, enough tech techno babble. Um, so yeah, I've got a patch here uh, with a random gate actually, and a kick drum, and we're just going to listen to a couple of hi-hats I've synthesized with this module. So you can also use it for percussive sounds, it's great for that. So I've just got it patched up behind my Euro rack set up here, and I'll bring those in. coming out of one VC noise. So you can have, because of the frequency division outputs, you can have different sounding hi-hats if you use two envelope generators, as you can hear now. some nice crunchy Commodore 64 or Atari type sounds going there. I've also got a bass drum, so I may as well bring that in just for completeness. All running off the same VC noise up above, which is generating a voltage control. Check it out. 